Hello, this is Father Daniel Kim, Marital Missioner, and welcome to our daily Gospel reading and reflection. Today's Gospel reading is according to St. Matthew, chapter 13, verses 44 to 46. Jesus said to his disciples, The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure buried in a field, which a person finds and hides again, and out of joy goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant, searching for fine pearls. When he finds a pearl of great price, he goes and sells all that he has and buys it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. I guess to frame this parable strictly in worldly and monetary terms today is that say you had a net worth of $500,000 and you would be guaranteed $100 million if you liquidated all your assets with the offer having no strings attached no gimmicks, no nonsense, then would you do it? I am confident to assume that your answer will be a resounding yes. This will indeed be a no-brainer. And what Christ is saying today is that the kingdom of heaven is likened to that $100 million return in exchange, but much, much more. However, perhaps the difficulty in believing this, let alone understanding this parable, is that the worldly and monetary value and measurements cannot accurately capture the economy of salvation. In other words, what holds value in the kingdom of heaven cannot be measured in dollars and cents, nor in material assets and holdings. The currency that runs God's economy are the intentions and goodwill that each of us hold in our hearts. However, due to our shortcomings and fallibility, what we indeed hold on to are pain, fear, hate, and resentment. For some twisted reason, The aforementioned sentiments hold value for us, because if it didn't, why would we constantly hold on to them? So Christ is inviting us to exchange all of our pain, fear, hate, and resentment for the treasure that is eternal and fullness of life. It is a no-brainer if we are indeed ready to part with what our egos falsely believe to be of great value. Thank you for listening to today's Gospel reading and reflection. Please be sure to tune in again tomorrow. Have a blessed and wonderful day. If you enjoyed today's gospel reading and reflection, please make sure that you subscribe wherever you're listening to podcasts. Also, if you know somebody who may find value in today's reading, please make sure that you share it with them. To learn more about how you can support the work that Mary Knoll does around the world, please visit us at maryknollsociety.org. And if you're interested in subscribing, to our online magazine, please feel free to visit us at marinolmagazine.org. Thank you once again for spending your time with us today, and God bless.